Hey, Facebook, what it do? Well, I'm back in the car. I'm driving work. Uh, I want to give a shout out at the stop sign to my girl Felicia Guimont and her husband Daryl Guimont uh, for my awesome t-shirt. Let me show you. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay. Uh, the stop sign turned green. But anyway, um, well, let me tell you something. I'm tired. I've been up all night doing the finishing touches on my book, making sure everything is where it needs to be for the printer. And I had worked a full day at the salon till 10 o'clock. But you know what? It was worth it. This is my baby. These are my labor pains. And they're getting closer and closer together. But I swear I'm tired, y'all. I don't think y'all understand the level of my tiredness. I'm more tired than a one-legged ex-hooker trying to hop down the aisle to get saved from the back row with a broke stiletto on. Now, visualize that. That's how tired I am. And I'm still back at the fourth pew. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to make it. I just, I want to give a shout out to all the authors on my page, all the authors that I know. I have a new respect and appreciation for uh, being an author. Uh, it's more to writing a book than just writing a book, you know. And this was a labor of love, truly, because it was an act of obedience for me. Because to be honest, if this, if this book was inspired by Miss Cotton, then I would have left a whole lot of my testimony out because I'm sure some uh, some other Christians can relate to this. You know, sometimes when you come from such a dreadful past and you become a new creature in Christ, you meet new friends who have no idea about your past, you're hesitant to let them know where you really came from because you don't want them judging you off of your path, past. It would be an awesome world if people could look at your past and consider it your past and love you for the person that you are today, but it's not set up that way. We have some people who can only get past the person that they knew back then, and I said that wrong. It's some people who can't get past the person who you used to be in the past. Okay, I got that right. And uh, as I was writing this book, some of those chapters, I'm like, do I really need to share this? Because some people might not let me sit on their couch no more after they read some of these chapters. And then it was the fear of, you know, uh, really religious people reading my book and feeling like I could have tapered the story down some. I could have made it more church friendly. Well, my book is as church friendly as you can get because what, what I am doing in my book is something that a lot of leaders are afraid to do. And that is to be completely transparent uh, in spite of the, the repercussions and the, uh, the risk of losing friends based off of judgment. And uh, a lot of people are, they shy away from those type of testimonies because they don't want to look at the ugly truth because a lot of the times they see themselves in the testimony. Well, in my autobiography, y'all ain't gonna believe this, you will definitely be able to see something of yourself in this book because I have definitely went across the, the range of everything that happened to me that was meant to destroy me, uh, everything that the enemy put in my path to make me stumble. I overcame it all, and my book will be uh, ready for purchase um, very soon. Uh, I would advise for you to go to my website, godisahealer.com, and pre-order your book because I'm only getting a limited amount uh, printed on the first run. Um, and it's first come, first serve. Um, I just really want you guys to feel me. I want you to feel my heart. I want you to feel what I felt as I went through each chapter of the book. Because after each chapter, I had to release those demons that were holding me hostage 
and I had to release the baggage that I had been carrying around. You know why Miss Cotton been bouncing around here all light, happy, full of joy, peace? I just told you I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Do I look like it? No. Nope. It's because I'm freeing myself. I freed myself. And with that last click, when I said, okay, it's done. You know, the book is ready to be printed. I felt a feeling that is indescri indescribable because the enemy no longer has that to hang over my head anymore. Everything I was afraid of coming up in my past or ruining my perfect picture of Evangelist Cotton, I laid it all on the table and I left it there. So um, I thank each and every last one of you guys who rides to work with me who just click on my videos just to see what i'ma say i appreciate it and i definitely appreciate all of the authors uh that make it happen because um <laughs> birthing a book is not easy it's really like child birthing this is a big head baby <laughs> bye